can I get the crispy chicken sandwich? Can I make that a value basket, please? And can I do pretzel bites instead of fries? And root beer. Hey, anything else for you? I think that'll be all. Culver's pretzel bites, actually some of the best. Mm. If you have not tried, this is your sign to indulge. They're so good. Anyways, let me tell you about what we're doing today. We are hosting a very casual Christmas party with just a few work friends. It's gonna be two other couples and another girl. So I just want to kind of get the house ready, do a little bit of cleaning and also cooking our meal and getting everything prepared. It should be a lot of fun. First, I need to get the chicken started marinating for chicken fettuccine Alfredo. Chicken fettuccine Alfredo is like a fancy dish but it's like the perfect fancy dish because it's actually the easiest thing to make ever. So it's the perfect party food. I am using chicken breast tenderloins and I'm just marinating them for a few hours and we're gonna throw them on the grill in a little bit. I have a recipe, never used it, but I feel like chicken marinades are pretty forgiving. I probably won't even follow it exactly. I just do a little bit with what I have. You just kind of make up as you go. Let me show you what I'm putting in mine. Olive oil, balsamic vinegar, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, a lime to squeeze into a little bit of lime juice, honey, mustard, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Alright, the next step for hosting this party is going to be creating a warm and inviting environment, not only for the guests, but also for the host, for me to feel just like a cleaner, clearer space, and that means cleaning my house, just kind of decluttering, as in picking up things and maybe giving it a good vacuum and just a light, normal clean so that it feels nice and fresh. Clearly I need to clean up everything behind me. Also, they're coming in like two hours. So, another good rule of thumb, don't procrastinate. Okay, so we're doing a bit of a white elephant gift exchange. So I just need to go ahead and wrap the gifts. I'll show you what we got. We have this pet rock that Keegan got. We have a Bob Ross soda. Pretty cool. We have the historic Shroot Farms bed and breakfast welcome mints. This one, you know, if you know, you know. And I got this desktop door slam. It's for like your office and it's supposed to have like a loud bang. These are all my coworkers, so I thought this one was pretty appropriate. So now I just need to wrap them. I made all of these clay ornaments. They look like cookies, but I just want to use them for all of my Christmas gifts this season, but I'm just going to use these to tie on with like a little bit of twine on all of my gifts that I give this season. So let's wrap our gifts. Thank you. 
I just got something kind of fun in the mail. Wait, you can't see my address. But I got our Christmas cards. I'm hoping that they turned out okay. I didn't use any sort of a template. I just kind of made my own because I wanted something pretty simple. I've never sent out Christmas cards for Keegan and I yet, besides when we first got married and we had our wedding picture. Ooh, they turned out really cute. It says Merry Christmas. Love the wordses. One second, Pepper's playing with the toy. Okay, I moved her to the carpet where it's a little quieter, but I thought it might be kind of fun to send some of my subscribers a Christmas card. I love getting Christmas cards. I don't have tons, so I have to send them to our family and friends, but if I have a few left, then maybe I could send them to some of you guys. So if that sounds kind of fun or you'd be interested in that you can dm me your address and i might send you one my instagram is always in the description so i'm so excited all right the next step for hosting this casual christmas party is going to be setting the vibes getting this place feeling comfy and cozy and peaceful it doesn't sound that peaceful right now because the dryer's running in the back so there might be a little clinging that's gonna go away but I'm just going to light a couple candles, get some essential oils going in my diffuser so it smells good and it just feels warm and cozy. <music> minutes so it's definitely time to get started on dinner I don't know why this happens every time I host I always think I have way more time than I do and I tend to just take things really slow and then I run out of time so I need to quickly make dinner I am doing two different things I'm gonna be making a mocktail drink recipe that I'll show you in a little bit and the chicken fettuccine alfredo. Everyone else is gonna be bringing something to contribute to the meal, which is so great. Helps make it so much easier. Someone's bringing a salad and someone's bringing garlic bread and someone's bringing dessert. So that'll be great. I just need to get started on the drink first. I am doing a Christmas mocktail. It's originally like an alcoholic cocktail, but I don't wanna make it alcoholic. I'll find the recipe really quick. So it's a recipe by Half-Baked Harvest, and it has pomegranate juice and orange juice and like some different spices and things that sound like really yummy and Christmassy but I'm just taking out the alcohol and I'm also subbing pomegranate juice for cranberry juice. Still Christmassy, but I couldn't find pomegranate juice at the grocery store. I'm really just using this recipe as kind of a guide to make this drink, but really not following it super closely. But I love making fun drinks like this and I think that you can have really fun special drinks without making them alcoholic. So that's what we're going for. I just realized that we ran out of cinnamon and I know this is not the same thing, but it has cinnamon in it. So I'm going to add a little bit of pumpkin pie spice. It has like cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, allspice and cloves. Like I think that would be a good addition anyway, but that's what we're doing. You gotta improvise. Now I'm just going to throw this in the freezer to get it chilled as much as possible before serving. And then I will just serve it over a little bit of ginger beer to add a good like spicy busyness. So. I hope that this turns out good. It smells super good. I mean, it's gotta be good, right? The dress code tonight was Christmas pajamas, so here we are. And at this point, the guests started showing up, so I was cooking and getting everything ready very quickly and not filming much, but I just finished setting the table and filling the drinks and 
we had a really nice dinner everything was so delicious and we had so much fun thank you so much for coming along with me as we got ready for the party i hope you all have a great week don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye, bye.